Hey guys, it's Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to determine if a phase change reaction is endodermic or exodermic. I have a diagram right here showing solid, liquid, and gas, as well as all the phase changes that kick that can occur between them as well as their names. I also have a atomic representation of a solid, liquid, and gas here. You can see that solids are really tight, tightly packed together and there is a lot of intermolecular forces between the solids. Liquids on their hand are a little bit more spread out and there are fewer intermolecular forces between the liquid molecules. And gases on, their, on the other hand, gases are really, really spread out and they, there's almost no intermolecular forces between gas molecules. So it's an easy way to determine if a reaction, a phase change reaction is endodermic or exodermic is just to first draw solid liquid and gas out and then see whether the reaction is going to the right or it's going to the to the left if the phase change is going towards the right or to the left on the spectrum. So if it's going to the right then the reaction will be endodermic and the delta H will be positive. And the reason why this is the case is because when you go from solid to liquid to gas, you are, uh, you're breaking into molecular forces. And when you're, whenever you're breaking bonds or breaking forces, that's going to take energy. So that's why it's endodermic. On the other hand, if you're going to the left of the spectrum, if a gas is to a liquid or liquid going to a solid, then that will be an exodermic reaction. And the delta H will be negative. And that's because when you go from the right to the left, you're forming intermolecular forces. Um, and when you form intermolecular forces, then energy will be released, so it will be exothermic reaction. Let's take a look at a couple examples. We have uh, three reactions right here. Let's determine if these phase change reactions are endo or exo. So first one, N2O4 liquid to gas. So we can see it's going from a liquid to a gas. So it's going to the right, so you're breaking IMFs. Uh, so the delta H will be positive, and this will be an endo dermic reaction. Next one, we have a li liquid going to a solid, so that's going to the left, so that'll be a exothermic reaction, and the delta H will be negative. And then last one, this time we have, um, it says that we have a deposition of I2. Well, we need, first need to know what deposition is. Deposition, you can see right here, is when a gas turns into a solid. So gas to solid, that is going to the left, so that would be a exothermic reaction as well, because it's going to the left. And uh, that that's it. that's really it. That's how you determine the whether a phase change reaction is endodermic or exothermic reaction, just seeing whether it goes to the right of the spectrum or to the left of the spectrum. Now, if you're trying to determine if a general reaction where there's a change in chemical identity and chemical formula is endodermic or exothermic, that's a little bit more complicated, and we'll talk about that in a future video. So this only applies to reactions involving strict phase changes where the formula is the same on the left and the right, and it's just a phase change. The, the phases are different. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.